have to logistics uh, loss of first set 25 to 14. What defense and execution and offensive distribution if you see Esco? Oh, definitely. Ang ganda ng pinakita ng loo, defense and offense wise. Everybody in that first six actually scored. That uh, compared to you know what happened on the other side, dito sa F2 logistics tatlo lang yung uh, pumuntos. Of course, we can get the numbers later. Pero alam mo, napakalaking bagay ng anim yung pumagalaw at pumunto sa isang sa isang uh, side ng court kung sa tatlo lamang. At Watching their volleyball idols as we take a look at the second set highlights. What was the story of that one, Denise? I think the story of that second set was, uh, you know, Escola team just performing again very well with their offense and their defense. Their setter, uh, si Chaya, was uh, distributing the ball to everyone, kaya nakapuntos itong sila, sila Chiraspon, and even, uh, kasi we, we, we saw her come in last, well. I think, uh, 22 sila, siya kagad yung pumalo. So you can just see na everybody um, is scoring. Some of the highlights in that third set, again, kontrolado na sana oh. nung, ano, nung F2, kaso uh, medyo tumirik at a certain part, especially uh, when uh, Escola made some adjustments, especially defensively, and then going to different options offensively. You know, actually, I thought now we were going to extend it to the fourth and possibly the fifth because, again, we know na pumasok sa first and second technical timeout lamang dito ang F2 logistics. But again, we just have to go back to the experience, the international experience. We have to, you know, stress that out na kahit bata pa itong team ng Estola, eh lahat sila talagang nakang-experience ng ibang klaseng level ng volleyball.